Hey everyone, this is Matt. CleanShot version 4.1 is out now, and there's a couple really great new features that make the app more powerful and even easier to use. The first feature I want to show off is a better way to mask information in your screenshots. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of the website here. And when I go into the annotation tools, I can go to pixelate and this was here before, but I could always use this to mask out parts of an image. So I could block this text from being readable. And I could of course increase or decrease the amount of pixelation that was applied, but there's a new option now to blur. So you can do a smooth blur, which just looks really nice, really pleasant. And if you're blurring sensitive information that you really, really, really don't want anyone else to be able to figure out, there's a secure blur that introduces a little bit of randomness to the blur to make it still look nice, but make it much harder for software to reverse engineer what was blurred in the first place. This is a really, really cool feature. Another great enhancement in this release is the ability to do more with your keyboard from the quick access overlay. So instead of clicking on any of these buttons to do the action, you can use keyboard shortcuts to do them instead. So copy, save, close, upload, and annotate are all available via keyboard shortcuts. So if I wanna go ahead and save this to my desktop, I can hit Command S and it's saved to my desktop. Let me go ahead and take another screenshot. We'll just take a screenshot of this. And if I want to just copy it to my clipboard, I can hit Command C to copy it. Now it's on my clipboard and I could paste it anywhere I'd like. Or let's take one more screenshot of the whole window. And if I just decide I don't want this, I can hit Command W to just close it. It's not saved to my clipboard, it's not saved to the desktop. A nice little bonus is also that if I take a screenshot and I have it set so that it automatically saves the screenshot to its location, in this case, the desktop, if I right click on the overlay, I go to move to trash. This is a new option. It actually moves the file to the trash, so I don't have to go ahead and do that myself later. Then let's go to the app settings to see what's changed here. A couple new things are available. First, you can now automatically pin screenshots to the screen after you take them. If you're manually doing this for every screenshot you take or basically every screenshot you take now, this is gonna be a really great productivity improvement. And then there's two major improvements to screen recording that I'm really excited about. If I go and start a new screen recording here, if I select the part of the screen that I want, you'll notice the rest is grayed out. And so previously, the only option when recording a screen was to have the stuff you weren't recording grayed out like this. But you may have notes or something over on the side that you wanna be able to reference while you're recording your screen and that made it a little hard to read sometimes. So now I've enabled a setting that you can set so that the rest of your screen is full brightness. You can totally read it. It's still totally available. It's just not in the recording area and you have this red box showing you what's recording instead. So you can still have it the old way, but this new way is gonna be really useful for people like me who have notes up while they're recording. Now there is also one more thing and that is aspect ratios. So when I'm doing a screen recording, I happen to know this will be uploaded to YouTube. So I can try to create a 16 by nine window-ish right here, but I don't really have it exactly right. I could do some math of the resolution to make it work, but it's so much easier by just clicking here and then selecting the aspect ratio you want. I want 16 by nine, so it'll resize for me, and then it will lock that ratio for me this entire time. So I'll just go ahead and make it this large. I'll record my video and then I'll move this out of the way. I'll get Safari over here and then resize it to the right size. And there we go. It's perfectly oriented. It's recording exactly what I want. I can see my notes over here. This is a really great setup. And this is just one more thing added in this great release. There are also some bug fixes and minor improvements throughout the app that we think you'll enjoy as well. The full changelog is available on our website and a link is in the description. I'll see you in the next video.